Today I want to share with you a couple spring decorating ideas that you can transition into the Easter season. Easter is a little bit later this year and so I wanted to share with you a couple of different ways that you can style up your items, adding in soft touches of Easter without making it permanent and feeling like it is just one specific holiday. You can really enjoy the entire season and just add in a few different things. So I'm going to be showing you how to decorate wreaths, um, a couple centerpiece ideas, and also letterboard. I know those things are really popular right now so I thought I'd give you a few different ways that you can style them. So with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, I hope you hit that subscribe button and notification bell, so I absolutely love to inspire and motivate you here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get to these decorating ideas. First up, I'm going to show you a couple different variations for a wreath. I picked up this grapevine wreath at the thrift store for a dollar, but you can find them at Hobby Lobby for like four dollars. And then I have this garland from Hobby Lobby. It's seven dollars. I've had that since the springtime. You're going to want some wire cutters to take your florals off if you need to trip any. These are from the Dollar Tree. These I think are from Michaels. They were given to me, so I'm not exactly sure on that, but I like how soft they are for spring. These are from the Dollar Tree as well, these frosted leaves, and then the eggs are from the Target Dollar section for three bucks. So to make a really easy wreath, you can just use a um, piece of garland and then wrap that around. You can tie it down with some um, wire cutters or you can just glue it down. Um, I here I'm just taking those white um, sprigs and fluffing them into the decor. You can glue these down. I did not glue them down for this one though. I wanted to show you a couple different variations that you can do for a wreath. So adding a few different eggs to it, um, keeping them in the neutral palette. You can do decorative eggs like as far as color goes, but um, keeping it neutral you can always add or take away to it and a lot of people like this because it's not um, really loud or in your face. So this is a really good option if you want to stay on the neutral side. To add a little bit of color to this, I just cut off some of these soft floral sprigs. They almost look like baby's breath, but they're pink and a little bit fuller. You can add those in to the um, various spots in between the eggs and the white uh, filler. And that just adds just a small amount of color and brings in that spring element to it without it being overpowering or anything. And you can see here, I think it looks really nice. Again, it's just adding in little bits of color here and there. And then I'm just going to keep adding to this and show you a few different variations. Next, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree stems. Now, I'm just plucking these off. You can cut them off if you want them to be longer. And this is the part that you would glue these in. For this one, I am just showing you how you can add different dimensions to it and make it look differently, so I'm not gluing them in. But that is where you would want to. And I think it came out really beautiful. I like the coloring on them. And again, just layering different pieces together can really draw the eye in and add a lot to the look at. Next, you could add a really cute um, bunny to the middle of it, and that would be just scream Easter to you besides the eggs being on it, but I really liked the way that looked. Another option you can do is you can turn this into a centerpiece. I have these ceramic bunnies from the dollar section and then also this cake plate. Now, I ended up adding a um, basket to the bottom of it. You could see the bunnies are just level with the wreath, so I didn't like that. So that's why I have the cake plate in there to add that to it. And then you can arrange them however you want. You can do one or two or three or four, depending on the size of your bunnies. You could add a couple uh, flowers on top as I did here. So now here's the wreath without any of the white um, foliage in it and along with no eggs. And you can see how spring-ish that is and it's really nice, but it's easy to take out those other elements so you can add them in. Another thing I wanted to show you for a centerpiece idea is to take a couple baskets. I got this at the Goodwill, but you could also pick up these like at Ikea or um, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. They have um, taking those little baby's breath in the pink. Um, I th I'm not sure what those are. I'm sorry. I can't tell you what they are because I didn't buy them myself. But layering those in with a couple flowers and the bunnies would make a really cute centerpiece. You could add the eggs or not, but you can see here it's festive holiday decor piece. So next I'm taking this uh, white foliage again and I'm taking the same wreath. 
I'm using these um, eucalyptus stems that I got from Ikea. Now you can use natural if you wanted to for this. It's really easy. These stems were $4 a piece at Ikea, which was a really good price because they are very full. I have a piece of wire already wrapped around my um, grapevine wreath itself. And so I am just um, folding those underneath and it's staying quite well because of all the branches. You can glue these in if you wanted to, but I didn't find it necessary. Again, I'm just layering those pieces in back and forth. And I have these really pretty um, spray peonies that I got from a floral uh, last year that I had and I love the coloring of them and so I was trying to decide if I wanted three or just one and I like the look of three so again I am just sliding that through and kind of using the wire in the florals to kind of wrap them in there and everything and hold it tight um, especially in the grapevine wreath everything holds really really well and then I wanted to add just a little bit more color to it and um, delicateness so I added a couple sprigs of the baby's breath in pink adding that in and you can see how it just adds a little bit more color and just brings in that spring vibe and I just love the way it has turned out so again you can use a glue gun or you don't have to it's completely up to you and the nice thing about this is I can completely reuse these florals and the next season for something else if I wanted to do so so here it is up on the wall. I really love the way this turned out. I think it's very beautiful. And again, if I wanted to add something Easter to it, I could. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. But I also wanted to show you something else I got in the, um, the dollar section that I think is just perfect for the entryway is this cute little hello cutout. And I love the way this looks. Next up is the felt board. I've been seeing these everywhere. I got mine off of Amazon and it came with a complete kit. It was really, really nice quality too. And I like these because you can make your own custom signs and sayings and switch it up daily if you wanted to and leave your special loved one a cute little note or whatnot. And I like it for using it for seasonal decor, but I can also use this for my kids' birthday parties, which I think is really cool. But I absolutely love the saying I put on there, hip hop, don't stop till the carrots are gone. I just think that's really cute for Easter time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up I can't wait to share more decorating and DIYs with you coming very soon and I hope you all have a beautiful wonderful day thank you again so much for watching and don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you decide to make any of these I'll see you soon